Kessel here, especially in festival, it's um, lots of individual uh, personalities come together, and there is no uh, no leader who's telling us what to do. So it's it's democratic. Um, but I think as we progress rehearsing, we also know we have a certain time frame, and um, so there we try all we all try to find a balance between moving forward and covering the piece and then um, also getting in our individual ideas about how we should shape something, uh, where we move, how we breathe, you know, uh, it's all about communication and sometimes it happens that people have opposite ideas and then it's, it's quite interesting to see there's a lot of energy there and you try to figure out which way you go, do you take one or the other or do you find an in-between. I'm playing an intermezzo by Bruckner from his um, string quintet. Um, this intermezzo he wrote uh, later as a replacement for the scherzo actually because um, this violinist Joseph Helmesberger didn't approve of the scherzo so much so he thought I'd write another intermezzo and it's never played when the entire quintet is played so this time Gwendolyn chose rightly so the intermezzo to show the piece. It's really, really quite special and very pure and beautiful. And then there's the Strauss Capriccio. It's from, actually from his opera Capriccio and it's about opera. It's about a countess wanting to create an opera and there are all these musicians trying to show off their abilities and how great they are to get her attention and to be the ones chosen for this opera. Um, and this is the, the overture pretty much. Um, his, one of his only chamber music pieces he ever wrote, so that's also quite interesting. He built it, he snug it into this opera. Schoenberg to me is really um, something that touches me. It's also about this poem, it's about the story of the poem, is about a woman who is uh, well in her 30s and um, not very happy in love not very lucky in love and she uh, decides to have a baby on her own because she really wants to be a mother and she gets herself pregnant and then she meets the love of her life and she thinks what have I done why did I not wait until I met you and so this is about a walk of those two people in the woods and she's confessing to him you know I, I really love you but I have something that I should tell you, I am pregnant and I hope you, you will still love me. And he forgives her in the end. And this is something you hear in the piece and it's a big major chord when he first speaks and says, you know, your child will be mine. And it's, it's just so on a human level, so it goes really deep. And yeah, it's, I think it touches everyone who, who listens to it. I think the building process of a piece is always subjective because there is no, no right or wrong. It's more about how do we feel about the piece and um, do, we, do we feel it is more subtle or do we actually feel this is quite an, a strong emotion. It's always about emotions. Is it holding back? Is it sweet? Does it say dolce actually? Do we play, you know, or is it or is it more demanding and um, who is more important? There are also different voices, um, of course, and one is, has the, the leading theme and should be heard more and you accompany more. So it's, it's always, yeah, it's always a search, but ultimately we go with what we feel and in the concert it might be quite different actually to what we decided in the rehearsal. And that should be the freedom of a musician. Actually.